Hello everyone and welcome back to Greedfall. We're here to find Fernando. I found Fernando. Good day, Desade. How can I help you? We're looking for a young nought named Alba on behalf of the Admiral. I've heard about her. Several crew members told me that one of our own was looking to leave the island. You should ask them if you want to learn more. They should be near the boarding area. But me? I've not seen her. More questions? Thanks. Kurt, what's with you giving off an eerie green light? You're not a Disney villain. Stop it. And why did I call you Kurt Vasco? I'm sorry. Names. They're hard. I've never been good with names. Actual people's names. Character names. Just doesn't go well. I never remember anyone. Your Excellency. Captain Vass. What fair wind We're looking for a young nought who arrived from New Serene a short time ago. Her name is Alba. Yes, I remember her well. The poor child wanted to flee her father, I wanted to take her back to the convent. She asked me when our ship was leaving, and if I thought we could take her on board. I told her she'd better talk to the captain, but we weren't leaving right away in any case. So she left. You say she was fleeing her father? Really? Yes, that's what she said. We <coughs> followed her here to take her back to Teleme. Poor child. Did she tell you what his name was? Yes. She told me that if a certain gentleman, Lorenz, that's it, Lorenz. If he was asking after her, I should send him packing. Surely it was a fake excuse. We're looking for her for espionage and treason. Really? Yet she seems sincere. Treason? I can't believe it. If her father is actually here, do you have any idea where we might find him? Well, at one point I asked her why she was not waiting at the tavern for a ship to leave. She told me she could not go to the tavern. So maybe that's where you'll find him. Good to know. I must leave you. And I'm assuming that means we have to go to the tavern at night, based off the little moon symbol. Good thing the sun is setting. No, thank you. May the enlightened always keep you in it. Have a nice day, sir. Hmm. Seems like we're gonna have to wait a minute. There we go. Hello. Are you Master Lorenz? Indeed, sir. What do you want from me? My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the Merchant Congregation, and I have a few questions for you. We're looking for a young nought called Alba. We were told that you're her father. Alba? What a stupid name. Her real name is Clara, and yes, she is my daughter, although she chose to deny me. Have you seen her recently? Alas, no. Otherwise, I would have brought that little idiot back to Teleme. Why did she have to leave? What madness could make her leave the convent to go to sea? Your daughter is accused of espionage and treason by the Nords. Do you think she could be guilty? Espionage? I can't believe it. But treason? How can it be denied? She rejected her country, her faith, and her family by getting on that ship. But I will soon bring her back on the right path. I hired a sleuth from the Ordo Oh, Lewis. God. 
Seriously, the Order of Luminous? Tell me more about this sleuth. Some Inquisitors are specialists in hunting criminals, or heretics, or young scatterbrains. That's certainly the case with this Johannes. He will bring her back to me, and she will return to the convent in Telemi. Do you know where we could find him? Maybe he could help us. His last message was about a missionary camp where he had followed her near Wench... something or other. I'm sorry, I can't remember those island names. Thank you, sir. When if you find her, bring her back to me. She will no longer have the chance to betray anyone at the convent. I hope we're done. I'll leave you, sir. A well. missionary camp near an island village whose name begins with when. He must be talking about when Xavier. Shall we go there? Yes, Petrus, yes we shall. Ah. Get down and listen. It seems to me that it's our sleuth. Hey, who goes there? Who oh, are come you? on. And what are you doing here? Are you spying on me? My name is the Sarde. I'm the legate of the congregation, and I was sent to find a young nought, Alba. That dirty little eel slipped through my fingers. But this savage will soon tell me where to find her. I see you folks at the Ordo Luminous are as subtle as ever. Why politely ask when we can resort to torture, hmm? <laughs> Only missionaries believe that these savages would help us without... encouragement. But why are you concerned by my methods if you're looking for this young woman too? I do not like the idea of leaving a trail of blood behind, Johannes. The case that sends us here far exceeds your petty mission. So you'd better leave. I made a commitment to find this young woman and bring her back to her father. I will not give up so easily. I have been promised a substantial amount of money. And I care about my reputation. Huh, your reputation? Your order has already lost the support of the Cardinal Mother for interfering with the Nords. And here you are again, involved in their business. You're putting nails in your own coffin, Johannes. Huh. I didn't see it from that angle. Well, I'm going back to San Mateus. I leave you this savage. Have fun and happy hunting. What a guy. This poor man. May the grass be forever soft under your feet, Renaixe. I thought I was dead. He would have killed me, even if I had spoken. You're probably right. Do you think you can answer us? We also have questions to ask you. You saved me. I owe you answers. But first, I have to go back to my village. I need to heal. Meet me in Wen Chavayet later on. Oh, hey, we got a level. Thirty three and thirty one. Cool. Let's 
Let's just get out of here real quick. We're gonna actually take a turn over this way and just fast travel right on in. Make it an easy make it nice and easy. You are the ones who saved me from Saul Lasser. Oh, I am so grateful to you. Oh, I owe you so much. But you wanted to ask me questions? We're looking for a naught girl. The same one that the Inquisitor is looking for. But I promised Alba to say nothing. I would really like to help you, but... And you risked your own life keeping your promise. But Alva is in a very delicate situation. If we do not find her first, others will track her down. And they will kill her without letting her defend herself. So she was right to be afraid, that poor girl. She came here saying she was being chased. I led her into the forest nearby to a cave where she could hide. If you have one of your notes, I'll show you where she is. Thank you. Did you want anything else? Do you offer services as a guide? Sometimes I take Renaigse to a good fishing place. They give me beautiful objects in exchange. But right now we have to be careful. There have been accidents with the tenants. Did you want anything? I must go. Hey, you gotta know a guy to know where to fish, uh, to get... You know what I'm trying to say. It helps to know a guy who knows the area. Um... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, we can, again, fast travel. Go to that other camp. Now, how do I get... I think it looks like I could just go straight, but there's clearly a path being... Our path being blocked. Oh, all of you guys. That's definitely not the most effective route to get there. I'll have to go by those other enemies. I really don't feel like dealing with them, so... say that I have a good memory of this place. I feel like we've been in here before. Yeah, I've definitely, I've been here before. Where did you see a camp? No, 
You will not get me. I will not go back to the convent. Would you chill for a minute? Then let's go. Stop! You have won! Finish me. I still prefer to die than to return to my father. Wait, something's wrong. She sincerely believes that we're chasing her on behalf of her father. Yeah, something is wrong. So it's the new captain that's selling the secrets, not her. We do Just not intend to kill you. Calling it now. Let alone take you back to your father. So then why are you here? We know you betrayed the Norts who took you in. You stole documents from your captain to sell them to the highest bidder. And we're here to pick them up. What? I never did such a thing. The Norts are the family I chose. I would never betray them. There's no point in denying it. We found the dead drop that you used. We confirmed that you were negotiating to sell secrets. And Captain Reuben, who already suspected you, reported the theft of his book just as you were leaving town. If you were innocent, you wouldn't have fled your crew. But all of this is false. I don't even know what a dead drop is. And if I fled, it was to escape you. Escape us? If you were not the spy, that makes no sense. You better tell us what happened. Some time ago, Captain Reuben told me that he had been informed that my father had gone to Tierfredi. He worried me. I knew my father would do anything to bring me back. Then, in New Serene, my colleagues told me that the Legate was looking for me. I was scared. I told the captain, who told me that I would find a ship in San Mateus to leave the island. But there were none. I saw my father at the tavern with one of his inquisitors, and I realized that my only chance was to flee deeper inland. A native helped me find this cave, and there you have it. I can't believe it. And yet, the captain used us and this young woman with manipulative skills worthy of a cardinal. Probably to hide the fact that he himself is the spy. <sighs> We've been duped. We must return to New Serene as soon as possible and warn the Admiral before it's too late. And what will become of me? You will come with us. We will protect you. We'll need your testimony. Oh, well, it's easy as that, I guess, being friendly with the Knots. So, hooray. So what's that leave? I don't know how we get friendly with Talame. On my way, you nerds. Okay, fine, we'll go this direction. I've got a camp somewhere around here. We need to talk to you. You have some problems. Also, why did the rank go to friendly before we finish the quest? Desarde. Our investigation is well underway, but the culprit is not who we thought. What do you mean? We found Alba, but she was innocent. In fact, her Oops. captain used us and her father to scare her. It's because of us that she fled. 
She never stole documents or tried to sell your secrets. So, are you saying that the culprit is Reuben? If this were not the case, why make up this story against Alma and use us like that? I can't believe it. And to think that I believed his lies. However, he is a captain. I cannot condemn him without solid proof. And we have to find out who he was selling his journal to. Ask his crew, but stay discreet. It should not arouse suspicions. Anything else? I need to be going. Your Excellency. The pleasure is shared. Captain. Good day. What can I... What do you think of your new captain? He knows how to make people obey him. He's a captain. Does he get on well with Alba? He was suspicious of her at first, but when she disappeared, he told us that she didn't have what it takes to be a knot. He spoke of treason, that sort of thing. I imagine he regretted having trusted her at all. Anything else, Your Excellency? I'm afraid... Didn't this guy just say he wasn't drinking? Hello, you mean? What do you think about? I know what it's going to sound like, but I like. Thank you, heartfelt. But tell me why. He's a good captain, but he lacks team spirit, if you know what I mean. He's aloof, doesn't get along with his crew. You're still far from the mark. To him, we're nothing more than lackeys. The only one who gets a smile from time to time is the pretty Gretchen, one of the girls from the tavern. She scratches his itch. As soon as he can, he's off to the brothel. Must cost him a right fortune. <laughs> he should be careful. A debt with a coin guard is like sailing near a storm. When pride and debt are your masters, it can push you to desperate measures. You afraid he might do something stupid? Perhaps. But keep that to yourself, if you would. Anything else? I need to smooth sail. Good day. What can I... We have... I'm all yours, Captain. What do you think about... He is fair, decisive, and he certainly knows the sea. But he keeps his distance. As if he wasn't a member of our species. And since we got here, it's been worse. He seems... <sighs> troubled. The slightest disagreement puts him over the edge. But... <laughs> never mind me. It's... Anything else? I need to... Farewell. Question Gretchen the Harlot. Guess we'll have to go to the tavern. She's up on the other, uh, uh, okay. I expected her to be down below. Turns out she's right here. Hello, my darlings. It's rare to see the upper crust in here. It must be my lucky day. Do you and yours want to have a good time? I could call a few friends. I'm sorry, but I'm not here for that. Really? What would you like, then? I was told that Captain Reuben liked you a lot, and that you spent a lot of time with him. He's one of my regulars, it's true. He always asks for me. But it's because I'm the sweetest. Does he confide in you? Sorry, my dear. But what's between my clients and me is nobody's business. Hmm. <laughs> 
How about a change of scenery and a chance to work in a more luxurious environment? Become a courtesan? But don't you need connections to get there? I'm the legate of the congregation and the governor's cousin. So? Oh, I'm not stupid enough to miss such a chance. What do you want to know? Did Reuben tell you about his relationship with his men and his superiors? Oh, yes. He's always complaining about it. He was hoping for a promotion. He wanted to be appointed fleet commander. But they only changed his ship. And the crew is nowhere near his level. And his admiral despises him. He says everyone is unfair towards him and doesn't recognize his talents. And it has turned him bitter. Have you noticed him change lately? Yes. He's become impatient and anxious. He has become suspicious, too. Did he tell you about his plans? Like everyone else, he likes building castles in the air. He told me that he would soon be someone very important and very rich. And that he would marry me. <laughs> but they all say that. Thank you, Gretchen. I'm done. All that this young woman told us only confirms our suspicions. This man is a complete traitor. We should follow him after dark. We may be able to catch him in the act. Petrus is a very vocal uh, companion. You would think that Vasco would be more vocal about this, given the fact that this is a not quest, but nope. Petrus just doesn't shut up. After nightfall. Ugh. It means we have to wait until nightfall or make it night. I suppose we'll just do that super quick. No, not that. This. Everything from here. talking about I'm too far from my target Where are you off to, Reuben? Out of the city and all? 
surprising. Shall we arrest him? Hmm. We should first find out what he puts in the box. Let him finish. The way is clear. Now, let's take a look at this box. The captain and his buyers should meet here at nightfall. This must be where the exchange will take place. We should put this message back in its place. Nobody should know that we've read it. And we should warn the Admiral immediately. Should want to know. Let's go. Well, we'll warn the Admiral next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Thank you all for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.